Welcome back you two to the Bucked Up channel. Today we're gonna do some more chest workouts, specifically on cables. You can do an entire cable workout, say you're at like traveling for the hotels or whatever, or you just wanna throw it in the beginning or end of your chest workout. So we're gonna do four exercises, throw them into your arsenal. Let's get going. All right, so starting off, we're gonna do something for the upper chest. We're gonna isolate it because for most of us, upper chest is a pain to try and grow and it's not the easiest one to connect on. So I typically like to start off with something for it. So come up and I like to put my hand um, on the working muscle, like on the side. And then you're gonna come up and you're gonna contract as hard as you can and kind of tap there just to try and kind of get it activated. And you'll typically do maybe two to three warm up sets like that. And then once you kind of have the feel of it, we're gonna spice things up a little bit. So similar thing, I like single arm movements, um, but this one's gonna be more of a mid crossover. And this one's great because you can kind of put your body into it and you can really overload more than you would on most cable crossover exercises. So I'm gonna put this a little bit further back so I get a good stretch. We have it on like a five to six because our tower is kind of weird. Um, and so you can have it a little bit lower experiment with it because that's kind of the name of the game is just kind of figuring out where you connect best because it might be different depending on where your muscles attach and just yeah play around with it you're going to find a lot better results if you actually experiment but typically I like to have it sort of in line if my arm is straight out. There you have it. If you were able to get like eight to 12 on that one, I'd suggest going a little bit heavier. Like I said, we wanna make these ones more about overloading the chest. So I'm gonna go up and wait. For that one I got, probably I could have gone eight to 12 reps, like I said, and I typically like to go a little heavier. So I'll probably shoot for something that's around four to seven reps. All right, so for this next one, we're gonna go higher reps, and we're gonna do more of like an alternating um, exercise from like a cable fly to a cable press every single rep. They're a lot of fun, and the pump can be pretty fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna move the attachment one back and one up to get a little more stretch across here and then also right around there for a lower puck. And like I said, since it's a higher up exercise, we're gonna go lighter. Because I get bored, I like throwing in tri sets a lot. And so that's how we're gonna finish off this cable workout. Gonna go a little lighter again. So you can use this one to warm up. I like to personally use it as a way to sort of finish off the chest. It's gonna, we're gonna focus more on lower pec to kind of get like that clean pec line so it doesn't, you know, you have like the separation between your abs and your pecs. All right, so I'm gonna bring it up one more notch. And let's get started. Off with 
some cable flies where you're gonna come forward like that. So you're gonna feel like a stretch when you're doing it for this one. You'll feel like a stretch like pulling right there, almost as if you were leaning forward into a dip. Um, but then when you bring it, make sure to squeeze right there. And so that'll be the first part of our set. Like so. And then for the next part, you might want to back up a little bit and you're going to kind of lean over like a tr more like a traditional cable fly or crossover. And same thing, you're bringing it towards like center pack and you're going to hit a little bit more like right here. Whereas before we were focusing like primarily on stretching that out. And make sure to squeeze. And then for the last portion, it's gonna be more like a really steep decline press. And if you want, you can hold one arm for a couple reps to like hold that contraction. Partially just for fun. There you have it. As you can tell with cable workouts, you're really able to choose your own adventure per se. You're not set. If you want to hit incline, you can. If you want to hit middle or decline, it's up to you. But those are four exercises that you can incorporate into your chest workout to see some gains. Peace out.